Welcome to The Awakening, Black Women United. I am your host, Sherry Danny. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Hello, beautiful people. Today, I am tying more players to Diddy, but with a twist. Did Kendrick Lamar earn his upcoming NFL Super Bowl halftime show performance by first performing in the bedroom for Jay-Z with the Renaissance singer herself, the one and only Beyonce? We are going to explore this rabbit hole as the video progresses. Remember bleach twice, I mean blink twice. Subscribe, like, and share, and away we go. Jaguar Wright has claimed that Sean Carter, known as Jay-Z, is a bigger monster than Diddy. Years ago, Professor Griff of the well-known rap group Public Enemy said that Jay-Z lets everybody have sex with Beyonce. When Griff made these allegations, those outside his inner circle thought it was just a conspiracy theory or a rumor. Currently, I cannot say that what Griff noted is true, however. More whispers are circulating that corroborate Griff's statement. Some are saying that Jay-Z has a strange fetish where he enjoys watching other men have sex with his wife famous or maybe soon to be infamous singer Beyonce. Let's listen to this clip. When I first heard, just like Diddy, it's gonna be the women that give him in the end. Sean Carter is just as bad as the diddler. And I know that for a fact. I got the scars to prove it. I wanna know what a box cutter feels like going into your skin and ripping you? I can tell you how it feels. Y'all ain't seen shit yet. That Cassie shit, that's nothing. Uh, so are you are you are you trying to say like Jay Z put hands on you? I'm saying Sean Carter remembers everything he did to me, and he's got it on tape. Clip. When I first heard Griff's allegations, I could not quite wrap my head around it. He made this statement several times on previous podcasts from many years ago. Now I feel I have a better grasp on Jay-Z's unusual sexual appetite. It has been proposed that his best buddy, the other famous New York Sean Diddy Combs, also likes to watch his woman have sex with other men. These events were coined by Combs as Freak Offs, in which he made his then-girlfriend Cassandra Cassie Ventura have sex for days with several different male prostitutes against her will. Purportedly, Jay-Z has his version of a Freak Off, and has a select few members of Black Hollywood have sex with Beyonce, such as Ray J. If this is true, it made me think who else could be in this collection of men that have had sex with Beyonce so Jay-Z could get off. Could one such man be Kendrick Lamar? Following the pattern that Diddy has shown me, anybody who worked with Diddy more likely than not performed a sexual act with him willingly or unwillingly in Diddy's case, and I am not saying the same for Jay-Z and Beyonce. Thus far, it seems that Jay-Z and Beyonce may be what was called in the 1970s swingers. Let's listen to this clip. As far as all the other nuances, please, give me a goddamn break, man. Beyonce is the same old, same old Illuminati tool. You understand what I'm saying? Same chick coming out on stage with a hip, blonde hair, half damn necky with her legs cocked open. Same old man. Beyonce, let me say, say something, that's Z-Brain changing his stripes. No time soon. Beyonce know exactly what Beyonce is doing. And that team behind them know exactly what they're doing better. As far as all the other nuances, please give me a goddamn break, man. Beyonce is the same old, same old Illuminati tool. You understand what I'm saying? Same chick coming out on stage with a hip, blonde hair, half damn necky with her legs cocked open. Same old man. Beyonce, let me say, say something. That's Z-Brain changing his stripes. No time soon. Beyonce know exactly what Beyonce is doing. And that team behind the North Again, exactly what following they the ready. pattern, Kendrick Lamar and Beyonce made a song together years ago called Freedom. Throughout the video, I am going to show you several clips and you will be able to be the judge of it all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. It has been Let's vindicated continue. by Rihanna's former publicist on her claims about Jay-Z and Diddy. Rihanna's former publicist, Jonathan Hay, has spoke out about his time when he worked as a publicist for an under- Anna, and he has been alleging that he was questioned by the feds about Jay-Z's alleged relationship with an under 
Brianna. Jonathan Hay claimed that back in 2005, the FBI came to him claiming that they were investigating Jay-Z for an alleged incident that happened with R. Kelly, and they wanted to ask him about a rumor that had been going around about Jay-Z being in a relationship with an under- Rihanna. Jonathan Hay said that when all of this Diddy stuff broke, he started to rethink everything that happened to him when he worked for an under- Rihanna and how the feds came to question him about Jay-Z's alleged relationships with under- females. He then started to question, was he really involved in something nefarious that he didn't know about when he worked for an under- Rihanna because Jay-Z does have relationships with people like Diddy, R. Kelly, who he also said the feds brought up back in 2005 for an incident that happened between R. Kelly and Jay-Z and Jay-Z's connection to Harvey Weinstein. After exposing everything that happened to him back in 2005 and when he worked with Rihanna, he then met with Jaguar Wright because he heard all of her claims that she has been saying about Jay-Z. Jonathan Hay said Jaguar Wright has connected a lot of the dots that people have been afraid to talk about and have wondered for years. And now I have just exclusively talked to Jonathan Hay, who is standing up for all of Jaguar Wright's claims, claiming that they have proof that Jay-Z is connected to all these nefarious people. So why isn't he being questioned? So I'm going to go ahead and roll y'all this clip of Jonathan Hay explaining his thoughts on Jaguar Wright getting censored from Piers Morgan about her claims that she made about Jay-Z and Beyonce being connected to Diddy. And y'all let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Piers Morgan. I'm surprised that you would retract and censor your uncensored show based on the words of Jay-Z and Beyonce. You would take their words, not any evidence, just simply their words. And you're taking the word of a man, Jay-Z, who is business partners with Diddy, R. Kelly, and one of you. That's who you side with, Jay-Z. Hova, we got receipts, bro. Your time is up. And now Ray J, he's also dissing Jaguar. He's dissing Jaguar because Ray J is friends with Diddy. And he's friends with Jay-Z. And he's friends with Beyonce. And Jay's defending, and Ray J, listen, Ray J's defending Beyonce because Jay-Z's a c and he likes to watch Ray J, his wife. And that's, that's the truth. Because you can look at my history with Rock Nation, with Jay-Z. I know that Jay's a c it's not a crime to be a c I'm not saying that. But Jay-Z and Diddy are both c who like to watch men their wives or their girlfriends. And Ray J, he's Beyonce. And that's why he's out here now defending Jay-Z. And that's why he's defending Diddy. Because Diddy, Ray J, I mean, listen, Ray J, Jay-Z and Beyonce are all on the Diddy tapes. Let's continue to fit some puzzle pieces together. Since the sad events of Trayvon Martin and Mike Brown NFL player Colin Kaepernick taking a knee during the singing of the national anthem before the games and his subsequent blackballing from the NFL brought in a surprising consultant none other than Sean Jay-Z Carter to assist them with rebranding the organization as non-racist. And over the past two years, Jay-Z has selected the halftime performers such as Rihanna and Usher. However, this year Jay's selection has been met with much controversy. Stay with me, I am going somewhere with this. This year's selection is Kendrick Lamar, who had a huge year in 2024 with his song They Not Like Us, a song in which he slammed notable rapper Drake. The main controversy surrounding Kendrick Lamar's performance at the upcoming Super Bowl is that many fans believe Lil Wayne a native of New Orleans where the game is being held, should have been chosen instead to headline the halftime show in his hometown. 
sparking discussions about regional representation and the selection process for the event. Oh, ha. come here, girl. Let me touch up on your butt. Huh. Give it to you. Got me reaching for your cut. Girl, let me touch up on your butt. Give it to you. Got me reaching for your cut. Go Niners! Woohoo! Bang bang! Yeah! Not only the dog. Girl, let me touch up on your butt. Give it to you. Got me reaching for your cut. Go Niners! Woohoo! Bang bang! Yeah! Not only the dog. Girl, let me touch up on your butt. Give it to you. Got me reaching for your cut. Remember, I asked you to stay with me. Don't get lost in sidebar details that may be important later, but let's stay on this track. Why didn't Jay Z give the halftime show to New Orleans native Little Wayne? Is it just because Wayne is an alleged drug addict? But if we follow the pattern, it says to me that Kendrick Lamar has had sex with Beyonce. Several years ago, Beyonce sought out Kendrick Lamar to collaborate with on her Lemonade album. He did not seek her out, she sought him out. Now, Let's go back. this is coming from a brother who's in a relationship, and I'm not into no polygamy shit. I'm faithful, I've been faithful to my, my girl for over 10 years now. So it's not like I'm coming from the perspective of a, a lusting man who sees some titties and ass and I'm going crazy in it. And there's an afro on top, so that, you know, intrigues me even more. No, I'm not coming from that perspective. But it almost seems as if the culture of conscious black people have become almost, you could say, anti-sexual. Whereas if everybody acts like they're not out here fucking. When she says a, a, a line like, uh, if, he fuck, if he fucks me good, I take his ass to Red Lobster. Shit, if I lay it down in the bedroom, my girl going to make a meal for me in the morning, too. Right. So this shit, to me, is like, okay, I, I can relate to that. Yeah, you right, B. Yeah, yeah. When I lay it down, when I'm not tired and I lay it down, it, 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 that, 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 that goes down. That happens. Out, that she happens. Out. Let's go back. Diddy would make Cassie go through several escort apps to bring in male prostitutes she knew his type. But Diddy wanted Cassie to choose the woman choosing is also a part of the fetish known as cockhold. Also, I must say that Kendrick Lamar is not married, and what consenting adults do sexually is their business. Jaguar Wright has some other allegations against Jay-Z and Beyonce that we will discuss in other videos that are allegedly criminal, but for this video again, as long as all participants are of the legal age of consent, there is no crime committed here. What man in Kendrick Lamar's place would not make love to Beyonce? Come on now, most heterosexual men would give their house to have sex with Beyonce, and I am no fool. I am sure to be on the safe side. Jay and Bay have their bedroom guests sign non-disclosure agreements. So maybe Jay felt obligated to let Kendrick perform at the Super Bowl because he assisted him with many nights of pleasure watching his wife Beyonce get drilled by another man. It has been vindicated by Rihanna's former publicist on her claims about Jay-Z and Diddy. Rihanna's former publicist Jonathan Hay has spoke out about his time when he worked as a publicist for an under- Anna, and he has been alleging that he was questioned by the feds about Jay-Z's alleged relationship with an under- Rihanna. Jonathan Hay claimed that back in 2005, the FBI came to him claiming that they were investigating Jay-Z for an alleged incident that happened with R. Kelly, and they wanted to ask him about a rumor that had been going around about Jay-Z being in a relationship with an under- Rihanna. Jonathan Hay said that when all of this Diddy stuff broke, he started to rethink everything that happened to him when he worked for an under-
Rihanna and how the feds came to question him about Jay-Z's alleged relationships with under females. He then started to question, was he really involved in something nefarious that he didn't know about when he worked for an under Rihanna? Because Jay-Z does have relationships with people like Diddy, R. Kelly, who he also said the feds brought up back in 2005 for an incident that happened between R. Kelly and Jay-Z and Jay-Z's connection to Harvey after exposing everything that happened to him back in 2005 and when he worked with Rihanna, he then met with Jaguar Wright because he heard all of her claims that she has been saying about Jay-Z. Jonathan Hay said, Just like Diddy, it's going to be the women that get them in the end. Sean Carter is just as bad as the diddler. And I know that for a fact. The scars to prove it. I want to know what a box cutter feels like going into your skin and ripping you. I can tell you how it feels. Y'all ain't seen shit yet. That Cassie shit, that's nothing. Uh, so are you, are, you, are you trying to say like Jay-Z put hands on you? I'm saying Sean Carter remembers everything he did to me and he's got it on tape about Jay-Z. Jonathan Hay said Jaguar Wright has connected a lot of the dots that people have been afraid to talk about and have wondered for years. And now I have just exclusively talked to Jonathan Hay, who is standing up for all of Jaguar Wright's claims, claiming that they have proof that Jay-Z is connected to all these nefarious people. So why isn't he being questioned? So I'm going to go ahead and roll y'all this clip of Jonathan Jonathan Hay explaining his thoughts on Jaguar Wright getting censored from Piers Morgan about her claims that she made about Jay-Z and Beyonce being connected to Diddy. And y'all let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Piers Morgan, I'm surprised that you would retract and censor your uncensored show based on the words of Jay-Z and Beyonce. You would take their words, not any evidence, just simply their words. And you're taking the word of a man, Jay-Z, who is business partners with Diddy, R. Kelly, and one That's who you side with. Jay-Z. Hova, we got receipts, bro. Your time is up. And now Ray J. He's also just in Jaguar. He's just in Jaguar because Ray J is friends with Diddy. And he's friends with Jay-Z. And he's friends with Beyonce. And Jay's defending. And Ray J, listen. Ray J's defending Beyonce because Jay-Z's a... And he likes to watch Ray J, his wife. And that's, that's the truth. Because you can look at my history with Rock Nation, with Jay-Z. I know that Jay's a c It's not a crime to be a c I'm not saying that. But Jay-Z and Diddy are both c who like to watch men, their wives, or their girlfriends. And Ray J, he's Beyonce. And that's why he's out here now defending Jay-Z. And that's why he's defending Diddy. Because Diddy, Ray J, I mean, listen, Ray J, Jay-Z, and Beyonce are all on the Diddy tapes. Ray J. Now, this is coming from a brother who's in a relationship, and I'm not into no polygamy shit. I'm faithful. I've been faithful to my, my girl for over 10 years now. So it's not like I'm coming from the perspective of a, a lusting man who sees some titties and ass and I'm going crazy and, it, and there's an afro on top so that, you know, intrigues me even more. No, I'm not coming from that perspective. But it almost seems as if 
the culture of conscious black people have become almost, you could say, anti-sexual. Whereas if everybody acts like they're not out here fucking. When she says a, a, a line like, uh, if he fucks if he fuck me good, I take his ass to Red Lobster. Shit, if I lay it down in the bedroom, my girl go make a meal for me in the morning too. Right. So this shit to me is like, okay, I, I can relate to that. Yeah, you right, B. Yeah, yeah. When I lay it down, <laughs> when I'm not tired and I lay it down, it, it, <laughs> that, 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 that goes down. That happens. Take that happens. by another man. In one of the clips Rihanna's former publicist is wearing a public enemy symbol, is this a shout out to Professor Griff? What do you think? Did Kendrick Lamar earn his upcoming NFL Super Bowl halftime show performance by starring in his own halftime performance by making sweet, hot, sweet, amazing love to Queen Bleach? I mean, Queen Bee Beyonce while Jay got off? I have had some fun with though, it is more likely than not that Kendrick and Beyonce got down we watched some funny clips, but it must be kept in mind that if and when at some point in the future, Jay-Z and Beyonce's story takes a non-consensual turn for the worst, their portion will no longer be humorous. And Jaguar Wright says she already has some not-so-funny memories of Jay-Z and Beyonce. However, currently Wright's claims have not been substantiated. We know that nothing Sean Diddy Combs did was consensual or funny. This has been The Awakening, Black Women United, I am your host, Sherry Danny. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video.